most accurate forecast because it's a weekend. We catch a little bit of a break here, Kev. Yeah, we do. You know what? And I think that's going to help us out a lot. But if you've got something to do, you've got activities or errands first thing tomorrow morning, you could be slowed down by slick roadways. Let me show you how radar looks right now. We've still got a few lingering flurries and snow showers out there, especially to the north and east of Cincinnati. These aren't amounting to much, but they briefly reduce the visibility. And then you know what? They blow right on by and things improve pretty quickly. So across northern parts of Claremont, southern Warren, and then southern parts of Clinton counties out here in Highland County looks like a decent snow shower about to run into Hillsboro at any moment. So tomorrow morning, another weather impact day looks like deja vu weather wise with a quick hitting snowfall, low snow, higher impact, or let's go with a medium impact being that it's a weekend morning right now. I suspect we'll see most of us around an inch of snow probably a little less than that, to be honest with you. Here's a look at the winter weather advisory for the entire area. That's because we are concerned about the potential for some slick roadways. So we've got the cold air in place, and here is our snow tonight in eastern Illinois, now moving into western Indiana. So yeah, after about 3 or 4 a.m., that snow moves in here with this quick moving little storm center that zips its way in and out of the Ohio River Valley. Check out Futurecast here. Notice we keep pressing on past midnight. Here we are by morning snow beginning to fly already flying in southeast Indiana through the metro tomorrow morning. The snow should begin to uh, taper off by about 10 a.m. mid morning and then we'll just kind of be left with some flurries and snow showers throughout the day that really won't amount to much. And then it looks like it's quiet Saturday evening into Saturday night. Your Sunday starts quiet. Probably the longest stretch of sunshine we'll see will be early Sunday, but then we quickly cloud up and you know what? It's raining on us by the time we get to Sunday night. So here's a look at driving conditions again, most likely to be impacted first thing in the morning. You should be fine by the afternoon and evening. Here's a live look downtown. Of course, the Tierra lit up in red there. 27 degrees officially at the airport right now. Feels like it's closer to 20. So many of us are in the mid to upper 20s between 25 and 30. As a result, the ground plenty cold enough to receive that snow once it moves in here after about 3 or 4 a.m. So late snow 28 for an overnight low and then tomorrow morning snow, then a few flurries in the afternoon 38 for your high. Here's a look at your day planner. There's a look at the potential for slick spots first thing in the morning. Here's your seven day forecast. So again, a little break in the weather Saturday evening through Sunday morning. Most of Sunday afternoon and day should be dry. The rain moves in here Sunday night and then it looks like the wet weather continues over into Monday and then quiet for at least the middle part of next week. Mike and Sheree and it's way too far to even get down there to Thursday. Day, but that may be something to watch weather wise going into next week. All right, Kev, thank you. I know it's.